Hi there. My name is Pedro Teca. My friends call me Pedroski Teca. I'm a journalist and I'm a, I'm a graduate journalist and I'm a member of the youth, Angolan Youth Revolutionary Movement. That's how we call ourselves. The Angolan Youth Revolutionary Movement is a group of young people that uh, has been fighting against the 34 years of domination by the Angolan president, José Eduardo Santos. We don't really agree with uh, what is happening in our country. Having a president for so long, it's not... Uh, uh, we, we understand the context in which he spent all these years in power. But uh, after the end of the war in 2002, we only had elections in 2012. So he is keeping on with all the maneuvers in order to, to remain in power. And what is happening right now is that he wants to leave the power he wants to, to to transfer the power to his own son or his cousin the current vice president so the, the country has been uh, is in a very sad situation in the, in the extreme poverty we have uh, people living with less than two dollars per day while we have uh, her, her daughter who is that uh, Isabel Dos Santos is the Africa's first African uh, is the first African women billionaire. So this is the reality in our country, as you can see on the background. It's a very sad reality, and we are fighting for a real democracy, for an equitable distribution of the Angolan wealth, and uh, this is a very tough fight because. Uh, they have everything to fight against us and we have all we have is the law that they brought in this country and they are the first one to disobey the same laws like uh, uh, nobody is allowed to demonstrate freely in this country nobody is allowed to criticize the the status quo so it's a very sad state of affairs but uh, we at the youth movement we try our best according to what to the rights that uh, uh, we are given by the current constitution. In the sad situation in Angola, we, as the Angolan Youth Revolutionary Movement, are fighting against the government of tyranny, against the government of nepotism, favoritism, against the government of corruption. As you can see on the background, the people are suffering. This is how we live. And these people are facing, right now, they are facing uh, demolition. The, the, they will be demolished since they are just nearby the sea. Because our leaders from the MPLA, they want all those nice places to build their, 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 their nice houses nearby the sea. Without... Uh, proper indemnization these people will be taken far away from Luanda in places where they have no police station no hospitality no schools for their kids and they will be left out there this is what is happening it happened it, it's happening all over the country and few days ago it happens in a in a place in a district called uh, uh, Prenda so I'm here to tell you that uh, we are fighting for our rights in Angola and we need you guys out there to help us to hear the voice of the people in this country it's a very it's a very sad situation we will not make it on our own we are screaming for your help in order to pressurize our government this 34 years old uh, is regime uh, of President Dos Santos who seems to have no intention of leaving us alone. I thank you.